So this look today is St. Patrick's Day inspired. It is a green smoky eye and it is so pretty. Um, this isn't something that people usually wear, so it's kind of fun, it's something different, um, but definitely very appropriate if you're gonna be um, joining in any festivities this weekend. I am super Irish, so I love St. Patrick's Day. It's one of my favorite holidays. Um, and yeah, so this is one of my favorite holidays, so I couldn't skip over this. Um, plus, I just really love green eyeshadow. I think it's beautiful. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and we'll get to it right now. As usual, I am just priming my eyes. I use the MAC Prep and Prime for Eye in Medium, and this is just going to make sure all of our shadow stays in place today and cover it will cover up any you know veins or anything. Then I'm using Samoa Silk by MAC. This is a matte light brown eyeshadow with a little bit of like a yellow undertone and I'm just using my Sigma fluffy brush. This is the E40 and I'm basically just going to go all around in my crease, kind of sculpt out this area and this is going to help us um, have a nice blended look up there when we start going in with the green eyeshadows. It will just look very finished. Then I'm taking Evergreen. Um, this is in a few of my favorite things palette by Too Faced. And I am using this Sigma brush, this is the E55, and I'm just going to pack on this color all over the lid. We just want to get a nice wash of color across the lid with this dark green color. And then as I get closer to the crease, I'm just going to make sure that I don't go above it. I'm just going to go right up to it. And then as I get close up there, I will start to just blend it out a bit. And I'm basically just going to keep going back and forth and back and forth until this line becomes blended. This will probably take you the longest because you really just want to make sure that this line up by the crease is not harsh and jaggedy. You want to make sure it just has a very nice soft blended edge that's just ever so slightly going to fade in to that light brown color. Just keep going back and forth and just make sure that that area is blended out. This is the most important part. You just want to make sure that it's not harsh. And as you can see, I am still blending away here. As you can see, I really take my time here. I really just want to make sure that it's nice and blended. And then I went ahead and followed the same steps on the other eye, but I'm not going to bore you with all of that because it's just the same thing. Then I'm going in with the Smashbox Masterclass palette. This is another dark green color. This is called Serpent. And this is definitely a bit darker than the, the evergreen color we used. So I am just going in with this little tiny, it's like a mini fluffy brush by Sin Sigma, and it's the E36. So I'm just going in with this dark green color and just kind of sculpting out that crease area. I am kind of giving myself a little bit of an outer V and just blending it in and just kind of giving myself a little dimension with this green eye look. And I went ahead and did the same thing on the other side, just making sure to really blend it and just sculpt out that area. Then I am going to go in with the color Tinsel. This is also in that A Few of My Favorite Things palette. And I'm just going to go in with that, with that same flat Sigma brush that I used before, the E55, and I'm just going to kind of pack this in the middle. This is really going to take this eye look to the next level. It's going to give it so much more dimension and just make it pop that much more. And now that my eyeshadow is complete, I'm going to go in with some foundation. I, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation in 203 True Beige, and I'm using a Sigma F80 brush. And I am just going to buff this into my skin all over as usual, making sure that everything is even. And then it is concealer time. I am using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 and using my nice hot pink beauty blender. As usual, I'm just going under my eyes in kind of like an upside down triangle motion. And yep, that's it. And then we will set with my Makeup Forever HD powder. And this will just keep my foundation in place throughout the day or night. And then I'm going in with my Hourglass Diffuse Light. Um, this is the ambient lighting powder. And I'm just going to set my under eye area. Then I'm going in with MAC Medium Deep and this big fluffy powder brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to bronze my cheeks and then around my temples. And then using this MAC Lord to Love blush, this is a limited edition, I am going in with a Sigma blush brush and just going to give myself nice pink peachy cheeks. Then from that same Smashbox palette I used before, I'm going to use this highlighter color. It is called Lens, and I'm just going to give myself a little highlight. 
Then I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Medium Ash to just shape my brows. Um, I just use small strokes and just kind of outline them and making sure they are filled in in any sparse areas. Filling in your brows seriously makes such a big difference. They really frame your face, as you can see here when one brow is filled in and the other is not. And then I just went ahead and filled in that second brow, but I didn't bore you with that footage. And with the power of editing, we now have liner. There it is, I just went ahead and did it. Then using my Anastasia Brow Gel, I'm just going to brush this through my brows, making sure those bad boys stay in place all day. And then using this Booty Call color from the Naked 2 palette, I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a brow highlight. And then we're going to go in with lashes. These are the Temptress Lashes from House of Lashes. They look a little ratchet in the package, but trust me, they're beautiful. So I'm just going in uh, with tweezers and plopping them on. I, my latest video is actually a tutorial on how I apply my lashes with all my tips and tricks. So if you're curious, you can go ahead and check that out and I show you step by step what I do. And I'm just going to go in and apply a little bit of mascara because I forgot to do so uh, before I put them on. And then with that evergreen color from before, um, using a pencil brush, I'm just going to go in and put this all over my lower lash line making sure that I blend it out very well and this is just going to add to the smoky effect and then I'm going to use that serpent, serpent color from before and just using this small smaller brush um, just going to line my lash line with this darker color again which is just going to make it look even smokier and then using that tinsel color I'm just going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and this is just going to make my eyes look a little more open. Then just using some liquid liner to cover up any glue from my lashes. Um, this just really finishes off the look. I always do this when I put lashes on. Then I'm using Cream Cup by MAC. It's just a light pink nude lipstick. Then I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Color Elixir Lip Gloss in Nude Illusion. I love this lip gloss. It is just amazing. And once that lip gloss is on there, you are done.